show you the cowl. So here's the plastic cowl that came with it. Um, unfortunately, it also has two cracks. Um, I tried super gluing this, but as you can see, that didn't hold. So I researched some stuff online, and what they suggest you do is, and you know, the internet's always reliable. Um, but basically, I got to V out a channel on this side and this side, and then over here and here. Careful not to, I was going to grind it out with a Dremel tool and careful not to hit it, not to mess with the front because the front is still flush when you put it together. So basically groove out a V-channel and then I was going to use this stuff and I've used this stuff in the past and it's excellent. It's called Rapid Fix um, and what you do is you um, put in that powder called welding powder and then you drop the adhesive in it um, and this this product was actually recommended to me by a welder for things that can't be welded and I've used it a couple of times It's fantastic stuff. So we'll uh, We'll um, See if we can't get that back together. There's a rubber Rubber rope here on the front and there's another one on the back And what that does there's two pegs on the um, bottom of the motor and these kind of wrap underneath those two pegs and uh, that's how the cowl stays on the end here's the front pegs that that rubber uh, string goes on and the back here's the here's the two pegs that it goes on um, this motor overall I mean it, it it's complete as far as I can tell um, now the one thing it's it's interesting because a lot of stuff was really super tight like I even had to use my impact driver to get these little screws out there um so everything was really tight and because it was tight i was expecting to, the whole thing to be rusted out but i haven't found any corrosion now i don't know if that's because everything's aluminum i guess the inside of the tank might not be but everything seems to be in decent shape so i found a manual online that i have printed out here and there you can see carry jet made by gorelli um, you can tell the manual was written in Italian and then translated to English because some of the some of the translations don't make a ton of sense. Um, yeah, and here you can see the what I was talking about: forced air cooling, the centrifugal fan for the motor bushing acts as exhaust is cooled with water dynamically circulated by pump. So there's an impeller in there somewhere. Um, a couple of the specs you can see there. There's the, um, you know, there's an example of a translation. Ignition by magneto flywheel with external coil and lighter. That should probably just say and light. Um, oh, here's what your needles were. So one was, it's called your maximum jet plug. I'm assuming that means high speed as opposed to maximum. Again, a translation issue. Two is the gas valve aperture adjusting screw. So, what do we think that might be? The butterfly valve? The throttle the throttle valve? And three is your minimum mixture adjusting screw. Again, that is your um, slow speed. And then this part right here that I told you I think is just a choke. They're calling it a direct control starter. Um, so, we'll see. Now what else can I show you? So once we get the recoil starter off, that's what it looks like underneath. Here's an interesting thing. You've got a little, uh, and I haven't seen this yet because I haven't taken it off, but you've got a marking on the flywheel and a marking on the stator plate, and you line those up um, and when your points are open and then the thing is timed. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, it's got, you know, I didn't show you this on a motor, but it's got an autopilot, um, you know, just... You set the motor to how stiff you want it to be if you let go of the throttle. Um, oil mixture at a rate of 5%, so doing some quick math, that's 20 to 1. Pretty pretty standard. Oh yeah, we got the nice uh, we got the nice electrical drawing here which shows which shows how it all works. Here is your here's your ground button with the black to the coil. 
Here is your um, light with the red going right into the magneto. I uh, got a black wire going to the magneto, a gray wire going to the magneto. I'll have to look up and see what RU and AL mean in Italian. Um, I don't know, what's a guess? Positive, negative? Ground, live? I don't know. And then, of course, in the middle is your, that's your high tension, uh, or your, your spark plug wire going on there. Anyway, kind of a cool motor. Oh, I should mention, here's a picture of the carb from the top. I actually did find, here's a better picture of the carb. I actually did find a parts diagram um, on the internet. It's a, not surprisingly, it's an Italian carburetor called a Del Orto Model ME14BS. Um, and I actually found a couple parts suppliers for Del Orto carburetors, one in Italy and one in the Netherlands. Um, so once we get that apart, we'll see what we need. And uh, get some stuff from overseas. Uh, so anyway, that's all I wanted to show you about my uh, new carry jet. want to make sure I got stuff recorded before I tore it down and just wanted to um, wanted to go ahead and uh, document uh, the motor a little bit since there's not a ton of information out there about these guys. Thanks for watching. Sailing on a surreal sea Trying to get higher on something